All right, as requested by Rio, I'm making a video on kind of how I look for enemies in Arma. Um, this is based on more what I do in real life in hunting, um, what I'm looking for both just with naked eyesight and with binoculars, um, scopes, etc. So for this tutorial, I've just loaded up a, a gun here that has a um, optical sight with just an, a normal uh, reflex side on top and then a scope on bottom so I can show you both techniques and then I also just gave myself a basic set of binoculars but let's just start uh, before we even get there with the basics of how you um, look at your surroundings while you're just walking essentially um, when you're normally just walking through the woods um, in armor or in real life what you're looking for with your normal eyesight is basically a hundred yards outside maybe to two hundred yards um, of your current location um, you're looking for movement that's the primary thing that's going to give away um, anything that's alive out there is that if it moves you should be able to see that um, the secondary thing you're looking for is is full size shapes so um, if I'm looking for deer, obviously an entire deer, if it's standing on a hillside, is very visible. And that's what I'm looking for um, when I'm walking around just with my eyesight. Um, to illustrate this, you can see this uh, rabbit up ahead of us here. Um, we'll zoom in on him. Um, and that's with the uh, right mouse button. Basically, I saw him because he's moving he's entirely in the open I can see the entire body of the rabbit that's a pretty easy one um, but you'll still notice like even zoomed out it might blend in with that background color and if I'm walking too fast I might not notice it um, the movement is really what's going to give it away in that case and then I go ahead and confirm by zooming in on it and, and checking it out and yep indeed it's a rabbit um, and that really works this method of just looking around you and being observant really only works when you're in an area that's that's open or or whatever you're looking for happens to move and you're lucky to see it um, in a very easy way. Beyond that, what you're going to be using is you're going to you're going to need to use optics to look for things. So binoculars are a must. Hopefully, we've got those standardized on all of our loadouts now because I I think that's pretty basic equipment. Um, so anyway, your binoculars are basically going to give you a, a more zoomed in view. But, bef but the most important thing to note is that before you ever use your binoculars, you want to use your own eyesight because you can, with your own eyes, you, you're going to have a lot wider field of view. You're going to see the whole picture of everything. Um, a lot of times when you use binoculars, it's really easy to get, um, to miss the forest for the trees, as the classic proverb says. Um, it's really easy to do that with binoculars. So before you do that take a glance around your surroundings so let's say like we're gonna walk into this forest here and we're hunting wabbits today um, obviously we've seen one wabbit already but let's go ahead and and I already counted this wabbit before I started the video so there was two wabbits out in the open um, let's see how many rabbits we can count in this little forested area so before I even bring up my binoculars the first thing I want to do is just use my own eyesight and obviously uh, I've picked out that rabbit out there because it's moving around the Sun hits it just right it's pretty apparent um, that rabbit I shot earlier obviously I picked out um, but I want you to start and I usually want to it's called gridding um, I pick a section of ground that I'm gonna look over and I grid from left to right bottom to top until I'm done looking for that looking over that area um, so let's just use our normal eyesight first and I'm gonna go up the forest slide over a little bit looking down the forest slide over a little bit looking up the forest and you know I don't I don't really see any rabbits yet um, again slide over looking down slide over looking up nothing really obvious slide over looking down slide over looking up and and again we're just looking for entire full-size rabbits or movement is what we're looking for so there might be a rabbit by that tree I, I see something that's kind of a little different looking so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in nope it's a bush 
So anytime you see something that might be promising, you can, that's when you can um, really focus on it. And that's what in Arma, and, and there's one right there actually. Uh, that's probably the same one we were looking at before. But you can see how uh, the movement caught my attention. Um, this this right-click zoom is really just focusing, which it makes if you narrow your vision on something in real life. Maybe it doesn't really zoom in this much, but it is easier to see if you're looking at something specific rather than looking all over the place. Anyway, so we've seen that one rabbit, and he's been present for a while. Um, and then I just continue my gridding pattern, basically just zigzagging across here. Um, I see something else out there, a little white spot. It looks like it could be a rabbit. Nope, it's a rock. But you, you, you can see what I, I saw. It's something that looked out of place there. And I basically just grid up and down and up and down until I get to the end. Um, so that's my first pass at gridding. I've seen the forest. Now I'm going to look at the individual trees, essentially, um, as the proverb states. And again, there's our one rabbit that we've already counted. But now I'm going to use my binoculars to break down um, the forest uh, to a level where I'm looking at individual trees. And I'm going to do the same thing with my binoculars here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grid from top to bottom, or from bottom to top, left to right, and when I get to the top, I'm going to slide over about two thirds of my field of view, so that I'm getting an overlap about one third of what I'm looking at, and I slide back down. And now I'm looking for, just like before, movement, full animals, full shapes, but now I'm also looking for parts of animals. So when I'm hunting, I'm looking for like a, a deer ear or deer antler or, you know, just a piece of an animal that might not have really stuck out to me um, when I was looking with my naked eye. And so we're coming along, um, gritting, and see, I think that's a rabbit right there. Or it could just be a tree stump, but we'll watch it for a minute. It looks a little different to me, so maybe we'll zoom in here. There's something going on there. It looks like it just might be a clipping error or a rock or something, but you can see it caught my eye, so I zoomed in, went ahead and took a look at it, but I'll continue my gridding pattern. Um, and you can see how much how much more of this detail I can see with my binoculars than I could with my naked eye. And so if you're having trouble seeing, just pull your binoculars up, take a look at the area you're planning to move into before you move into it, and do it very thoroughly. Take a 90 degree sweep of your compass and just do this whole gridding thing and you should be able to make pretty comfortable sure that there's no enemies out to two to three to four hundred yards from you um, after using this gridding technique. Um, and you know if there's, it, and this is another thing, if there's uh, really thick areas like this, that's an area to remember. As we move forward, we're going to get a different perspective on this area, and we might need to look at it again to make sure there's nothing behind that. But we'll, we'll go ahead and, and skip past it for now. And I'm just continuing my gridding up, down, slide over, up, down, slide over, and... And you might need to go slower than this even, but there's one of our rabbits. We saw the movement again, but at this point we probably wouldn't see this guy with our naked eye anymore, you know? He's a, he's a ways out there and there's only a year, an ear showing. Um, so it'd probably be pretty hard to see him. But we continue our search of the forest. Sliding over. And this is a great way to break down a large area into a more um, manageable way to look at it, rather than just being overwhelmed. And I'm doing what's called a coarse a coarse grid right now, so I'm I'm basically still going really fast over it and doing uh, two thirds field of view slide over between glances. So this is the really coarse method. Uh, you can then go back over it again with your binoculars and move a lot slower and use a lot narrower sweeps and um, really really focus and look for an ear or a tuft of hair or anything like that that looks out of place but um, for the for the moment this will display kinda what I'm trying to show you and as we get our our up and down gets narrower and narrower 
as we go there. Um, what do we have way out there? Zoom in. Oh, we got an electrical box next to the house. Nothing big. Um, right, so we've spotted that one rabbit, basically. Um, and again, with our naked eye, we probably wouldn't have seen the rabbit at all. Um, maybe we would have. There he is. Like, let's let's look. With our naked eye, I don't think we pick that rabbit up. Even zoomed in with our gun, with our vision focused, maybe we pick it out, maybe not. If it moves, we probably see it. But if we're not zoomed in, we probably don't see it. Um, so that kind of describes how to use your binoculars to help what you're seeing. The next step I'll do is, is um, explain how to use your teammates to your advantage. If, if they see something and they give you a compass bearing on it, um, you need to, to know how to use that, basically. Um, let's say, first of all, the compass bearing that they give you isn't going to be exactly right because they're going to be slightly in a different location than you. So if you're relatively close, you're, the compass bearing should be correct within about 5 to 10 degrees. If they're further away, the compass bearing might be off by as much as 90 degrees, um, depending on where you are in relation to each other. So it's important to remember that. But let's say we're, we got Zach Mills right next to us telling us we've got a, uh enemy rabbit at bearing 210. Um, so what we can do then is we can pull open, and he says, let's say it's about 100 yards away. We pull open our compass. We look at bearing 210. Um, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to check this area from about 20 degrees on either side of that first. So we're going to really focus in 20 degrees either side of the 210 until we see our rabbit wherever he is. And there's our rabbit right there. Um, so that's basically it. You just take that 210 and you focus 20 degrees on either side of it. So 230 to 190 and you view that area really quick. If you don't see any enemy in that area, then you go another 20 degrees on either side out of that and view that area real quick until you get about, once you get to about a, a, a 90 degree section um, and you still don't see the enemy, then maybe you're not close enough to where your uh, partner is to be using the same compass bearing. Um, you could be on the other side of the enemy from each other and at that point you're probably going to die anyway. So that's my basic tutorial on how to use your eyesight and or compass and or binoculars to see different things in Arma. So let's see if we can get a shot off on Mr. Rabbit here. Uh, he's still moving. Oh, he's behind a rock now. I don't even know if I've got this gun properly dialed in, but let's see. Oh, missed him completely. <laughs> All right, hold your breath, guy. And missed him again. I'm not sure where I'm hidden. I haven't sighted this gun in, so. Yay, got him! <laughs> and uh, we'll make that the end of the video.